Hi class, welcome to Advantage. I'm Matt Fisher, I'm your accounting professor. In today's video, we're gonna go over break even and target profit, or sometimes we call it target income. So first of all, before we get started in this break even, we wanna take a look at what is contribution margin? Now the contribution margin is the sales minus variable costs get us our contribution margin. You may need to go back to cost classification video if you're not clear on what variable costs are and fixed costs are, because we need to know those, those definitions in order to calculate uh, break even and target costing in this video. So in our example, in this chapter, in order to calculate break even, we're gonna assume we're selling a soccer ball and the selling price per soccer ball is $20 and the variable cost is $12. So then our contribution margin would be $8. When we're doing these contribution margin uh, income statements, oftentimes we'll do them in percentages also. So we divide all of these numbers by sales. So uh, 20 divided by 20 is 100%. 12 divided by 20 is 60%. And eight divided by 20 would be 40%. Okay, so there, that's our contribution margin per unit and our contribution margin ratio. Now, we can calculate our break even. So I'm just gonna abbreviate here. Break even, B slash E equals, now this is called, this is the shortcut approach. We take fixed costs divided by our contribution margin per unit, okay? so. The problem will need to tell you what the fixed costs are if you're doing homework. So the fixed costs in our example will be $80,000, okay? So hopefully at this point, you know, without even calculating this, you could say, well, if my fixed costs are 80,000 and every time I sell a soccer ball, I have $8 left over my contribution margin, then I can calculate my break even. It's just, you would take your fixed costs of 80,000 divided by your contribution margin of eight, and that would get you 10,000 soccer balls. So you need to sell 10,000, and when you sell 10,000, each one generates $8 of contribution margin, so that would then cover your fixed costs. This is the shortcut formula. This is the one that I recommend that you use, but a lot of times textbooks also will show a longer approach. So let me just quickly show you what that longer approach would be. We would take our sales, total sales, minus our variable cost, minus our fixed cost, equals profit. So that's just a general profit formula here. Well, we know what our sales price is. It's 20, $20 times, now we have to multiply that 20 by X, meaning how many soccer balls we're gonna sell. Our variable costs, we know what the variable costs are, they're 12. But once again, we don't know the total variable cost because that's what we're trying to get, the total variable cost, the total sales. So we, for the variable cost, we need to multiply the 12 by the number that we would sell in order to have a certain profit. Our fixed costs, once again, are $80,000 and our profit, well, this is break even, so our profit is zero. So now, let's move the 80,000 to the other side, so we'll add 80,000 to both, both sides of the equation, so that gets rid of that 80,000, we have 80,000 over here, and then we have 20X minus 12X. Well, we can consolidate that into just 8X. And then when we divide both sides by eight, we would once again get the 10,000 soccer balls, okay? So when you're calculating break even, you can just go straight to this formula, which is what I recommend. Or if you want to, this one also makes sense and it would calculate the same answers, 10,000 soccer balls, okay? Now let's look at break even sales dollars. Break even sales dollars instead of break even units. Break even sales dollars. Well, remember, we sold 
10,000 soccer balls times $20 per soccer ball. So the break even sales dollars is 200,000. Okay, this is the shortcut. This is the really easy way to do it. If, we, if you already have the break even in units, just multiply it by the sales amount. We're selling each of these soccer balls for $20. This gets you the break even in sales dollars. If you wanna do the break even in sales dollars in the formula, then this is what we would need to do. We take fixed costs, we take the contribution margin, but instead of the unit, we're gonna take the contribution margin ratio. So we would take fixed cost, 80,000, divided by, well, 40% is 0.4. And that would get us, once again, $200,000 in sales that we would need. So either way is acceptable. And more than likely, if you're working on homework, they're gonna ask you to calculate the break even per unit, and then also break even in sales dollars. Let's move on to target profit, or sometimes they call it target income in the textbooks. So when you're doing any homework problems, there are certain things that need to be given. They need to give you, you know, when you're doing break even and target profit or target costing, um, target income calculations, uh, they need to give you this information or give you enough information so you can back into this. You need to know what the fixed costs are. And if you're calculating a target profit, you need to know what the target profit is. So in our example here, our target profit will be $40,000. So now let me erase this and write down the new formula for us. If we're doing target profit in units, this would now be our new formula for target profit. It's gonna be the fixed cost plus our target profit divided by the contribution margin. So maybe you've already calculated in your head, maybe you've already seen what I'm doing here. My fixed costs are 80, my target profit's 40, so fixed costs 80,000 plus target profit of 40,000 divided by, every time I sell a soccer ball, I'll have $8 left over. So then this is 120,000 divided by eight, which gets us 15,000 soccer balls, All right? So to achieve a target profit of 40,000, then we need to sell 15,000 soccer balls. All right, class, I hope this has helped. We've gone over a break even in units, break even in sales dollars. We've gone over the contribution margin at the very beginning of this video. And at the end of this video, we just went over our target uh, income calculations. All right, I hope that these all make perfect sense to you. Uh, you might need to go over them a few more times, you know, do some practice that will make you, help you to understand them even better, all right? I hope you enjoy accounting, good luck, and I hope to see you soon.